DJ here with Achieve Peak, and today we have an arms workout. So we're gonna be doing eight total exercises, and we're gonna do them in groups of supersets. We're gonna do two sets of each superset. Our working time is 40 seconds, our break time is 20 seconds, and in between the different groups of supersets, we will then take a 40 second extended break. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you wanna see more, subscribe to our channel and then hit that little bell to get notifications. And don't forget to leave a comment and let us know what you thought about this video and what kind of videos you wanna see in the future. Now let's get to work. All right, so we got about 30 seconds remaining until we begin. Our first exercise is going to be drag curls. And I'll demonstrate that for you. So we're going to stand on that band. We're going to take the band, pull it all the way up our side, squeeze the bicep. Our second exercise is going to be tricep extensions or tricep kickbacks. So we're going to be here, bring it up, and then push it back like that. Okay, we got five seconds till we begin drag curls. All right, here we go. Good controlled movements. Bring it up. All the way down. Don't forget to get that squeeze up there. Try to fill that bicep up. There we go. If it's a little too easy with uh, just one foot standing, you don't actually want to change bands. And what you can do is stand on it with both feet. Try that out. And if that's still too easy, then just spread your feet out like that. Here we go. 10 seconds left. Get that squeeze at the top. Don't forget to breathe. Last one. There we go. All right, uh, 20 second break. We're going into tricep extensions. I'll demonstrate that again. Here we go. Nice straight back right here. We don't want to be hunched. We're going to bring the arms up and then extend the triceps. Just like that. A few seconds left. Here we go, tricep, uh, tricep kickbacks. There we go. Again, get that squeeze. Try not to stress your neck. It's really easy when you're bent like this to kind of start forcing your neck like you're working it. Try to focus on those triceps. Nice, relaxed neck. Good controlled movements, 15 seconds. Squeeze. Get that burn in. Try to keep that upper arm uh, stationary. Don't let it move. Don't be bringing it down. Here we go. 20 seconds and we're going back into drag curls. Here we go. Get you some water in between breaks if you need it. Switch out bands. Whatever you want to do. You got 20 seconds. You can stretch it out. Here we go. Drag curls. So we're just trying to drag it up the side and at the top, get that squeeze. We're really getting uh, an extension or like an elongation of the bicep muscle here. Cause you're pushing those arms back. Here we go. Good controlled movements here. Pump those biceps up. 10 seconds. Here we go. Last one. There we go. Now we're going back into tricep kickbacks. Get my water a little closer. 10 seconds left on this break. There we go. Let's get ready. There we go. Tricep kickbacks. Good control movements. Again, you don't want this upper arm right here. You don't want it to be coming down and going up like that. Just stay right there. There we go. If it is uh, beginning to drop and come down, that might be a sign that that weight is a little bit too heavy for you. It doesn't have to be a heavy weight. Just need to get that burn in a little bit. You're good. 10 seconds. Remember, don't stress the neck. There we go. 
All right, we got a 40 second break and we're going into close curls followed by overhead tricep extension. For the overhead tricep extension, if your bands are a little short, what, uh, what you can do is actually sit down and put the bands under your butt and then do your uh, overhead tricep extension. So for close curls, you can do a normal bicep curl, except we're gonna bring it in nice and close, let those handles touch, just like that. Here we go, a couple seconds left, five seconds, till we begin close curls. Here we go, let's go. Again, get that squeeze at the top. All the way up, all the way down. Good controlled movements. Here we go, halfway. Again with these, you also don't want to be pulling those arms back and then bringing them way out here. Keep them close to your side. Good controlled movements here. Five seconds, let's go. Squeeze. Squeeze. There we go. All right, overhead tricep extensions. So for these, what we're gonna do is we're gonna step on the band, and then you're actually gonna step through it and have it back behind you. And then we're gonna go straight up, come back down. Here we go, a couple seconds. Here we go. Get that squeeze at the top. See if I can demonstrate the uh, seated ones real quick. So put the band out. Get it uh, nice and even up under your butt. And then from here, do the same thing. Good controlled movement here. So that's seating if your bands aren't long enough to do it standing. There we go. Five seconds left. There we go. All right, 20 seconds, we're going back into close curls. Almost halfway through. Yes. There we go. Let's get ready for close curls. Let's go. Squeeze. Squeeze. There we go. Come on. Good control movements. On this, keep your back straight too. Sometimes people have a habit of hunching over. Always want a nice straight back, unless otherwise stated. There's very few movements where you should have a hunch in your back. Here we go, 10 seconds. Squeeze. Let's hold this one. Hold to the end. Let's go. Come on, come on. Woo. Here we go. All right, overhead tricep extension. 20 seconds. Get ready for it. Starting to break a sweat. Heating up. Always try to get a little walk in before. Get the blood movement moving. Here we go, overhead tricep extension. Try to get a full range of motion, up top squeeze, all the way down, all the way up. Try to keep those elbows straight. I know sometimes mine kind of go out lack of flexibility but if you can try to keep them in let's go keep that core nice and tight up and squeeze there we go up and squeeze feeling it Woo. there we go all right so we got the 40 second break and then we're going into concentration curls. So these are a little bit of a new exercise. I don't think we've actually ever done these on here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a knee and then we're going to put the band up under our foot. So I got it on my left side. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put my left elbow up against the inside of my left leg. And from here, I'm going to do a curl. You'll probably have to choke way up on your bands. So I literally have about four inches of band right now. There we go. Woo! Feeling it. So we're 
just doing that left side. Concentration curls, allow that uh, the back of your arm up against your leg. Helps take some shoulder out of it. Get that squeeze at the top. You can really feel that bicep. And this is an opportunity, if you're going a little heavy and it's burning too bad, you can use that other hand to help assist on the way up. And then just do a nice slow negative on the way down to burn it up. So we're just doing negatives if we're doing that. But you don't have to do that. You can just do regular concentration curls. Here we go. Come on. Last one. Oh, there we go. All right. All we're doing here is switching sides. So this is just a bicep superset right here. So test it out. See what's heavy, what's good for you. Make sure to keep putting your weight on that foot. Let's go. Let's squeeze. Come on. Don't take note of my farmer's tan. It's not actually from farming. It's my golfer's tan in reality. If you're a golfer, my dude, uh, Golf Sidekick, got me hardcore back into golf, great channel, all about mindset, course management, it's good stuff. Come on, let's go. You can blame him for my golf tan. All right, we're going back to this left side. Woo! Let's go, let's push it this time, come on. Push yourself. Concentration curls, left side. Burn it up. Get that squeeze at the top and hold it. Do a little hold right there. Squeeze and hold. There we go. Squeeze. Whew. There we go. Come on. Ah. Let's go. Whew. 20 seconds. Halfway. Come on. Ah. Squeeze. Whew. Pump it up. Feeling good. Let's go. A few reps. Last one. Come on. Woo! There we go. All right. Going to the right side again. Let's push it. Look at this. Two from curls and biceps and triceps. I'm breaking the sweat. I hope you are too. All right. It's time to push it again. Let's go. Show us what you're made of. All right, let's go. Right side concentration curls. Make sure to have plenty of weight on that foot that's supporting the band. Back of the arm up against the leg and squeeze. Let's get that little hold again. Woo! Burn it, baby. Let's go. Come on. Come on, let's get a couple more, two more. Let's hold it to the bell rings. Woo! There we go. All right, 40 second break. We're going into skull crushers. So the next two, our final two exercises are both gonna be on the ground. So uh, hopefully you have a mat. I forgot to say that at the beginning. You're probably gonna need a mat unless you're on carpet. Okay, so for skull crushers, we're gonna put this band down. And make sure to have it below your shoulder blades so your shoulder blades will be resting on the ground and holding the bad boy down. So what we're going to do is we can get the bands right here and we're going to push them up now. Come to the head, the skull, and then go up. Here we go. Alright, let's go. Skull crushers. Come down to the skull, go up, squeeze those triceps. Down, up and squeeze. Woo, come on. Up and squeeze. Push it. Let's go. Come on, this is our last set. Show yourself what you made up here. Come on, 10 seconds. There we go. Let's get one more. Ah. 
there we go. All right, 20 seconds, and then we're going into seated hammer curls. So make sure to wrap the band around one foot or both feet, whichever. That way you can avoid the band slipping off of your shoes and hitting you. So for this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna lean back a little bit, and then we're gonna take our hands, we're just gonna curl it up. So typically on a curl, your palm right now would be face up. We're gonna have palms facing each other the whole time. We're gonna get a little bit of core in here too, leaning back, so then we can get full range of motion on those arms. Ah, let's go. 15 seconds. Get a little sideways so you can see. Ah, woo! Come on. Ah, let's get one more. Ah, woo! Love them. Love them. You can do that in standing if you want. I just figured uh, people always complain about having to play the get up, get down game. So we're keeping it all on the ground for this one. All right, let's get ready for skull crushers again. That band ready? Make sure it's under your shoulder blades and it can't come up. And we're going down to the skull. Extend with those triceps. Good controlled movements here. Make sure to get that squeeze at the top. There we go. Come on, good control movements. Don't forget to breathe. 10 seconds. Woo, come on. Got one more exercise after this and we are done. Ah, there we go. Alright, go back to seated hammer curls. Please remember to wrap the band around your shoe. PSA right there. We're having a test of something. Please. Let's get that little lean back. Come on. Squeeze. There we go. Get that little hold in there. There we go. Come on. Limber hands facing each other. Let's go. Woo! Burn it up. Let's go, push it! Show yourself what you made up. Five seconds. One more, right here. Woo! There we go. Brutal. Absolutely brutal. Woo! All right, I hope you enjoyed this arms resistance band workout. And remember to uh, hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, hit the bell for notifications. And don't forget to leave a comment and let us know what you thought about this video and the videos you want to see in the future. Alright, see you guys.